Welcome, Leo and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that would like to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. So for you, this could resonate past, present, or future. Okay. For the collective, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what needs to come through? Two of Swords. This is about making some kind of decision or some kind of choice. King of Swords. There could be an air sign involved. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Give me just a minute here. Hmm. This is going to be a really specific situation. This is clearly not for every single one of you. If this is not your story, please do not force it to fit. Um, I'm going to read it how I see it. Okay, you can flip it, reverse it uh, for your situation. Some of you, it could be from your person's perspective. So just keep that in mind. Cross watchers are welcome here. Um, honestly, I feel like there's a specific person here who has, who's married. Okay, I am seeing two kings here. Okay, and genders are irrelevant, but I, I do feel that there's specifically a woman here um, who has a choice to make. Um, okay, I think that. Where do I begin with this? This is, a, I feel like, a bit of a complicated situation, so I'm going to do my best to try to navigate through this. So starting here in the center of the room, we have two of swords, which talks about decisions and choices. Can I be in that at crossroads? Which way do you go? Um, you know, not really having the sight to see what's going to happen when you move ahead or decide to move forward in either direction. You have you have to make a choice. Like it's it's come down to it. It's it's like there's no more holding back. Like a decision needs to be made, like today or yesterday. Um, and I feel like it's in regards to the King of Swords which I feel like is someone's spouse. Okay, there's a marriage involved between two people. This King of Swords definitely could be an air sign or somebody potentially that, you know, you have a home with, you have a, a life with. Um, this King of Swords, maybe somebody that you feel is a bit cold or unemotional or detached. King of Swords can be somebody who's very analytical or logical, you know, less emotional. Some of you, for some of you, that there's a this person could be like a lawyer or has some kind of job that's something about public speaking or public service of some sort. I'm getting that for some of you. That's not for all of you, obviously. With the star, I feel like this is Aquarius energy. There's something that you're waiting for, or that you have been waiting for. It's like you connected with someone, and it's I kind of get like this shock factor you know what I mean it's like you didn't I, I honestly get like somebody was just kind of like living day-to-day -day life seemingly happy things were fine it, it is what it is like it's fine it's working and it's like you got like I don't know why I get like love at first sight or some type of like take your breath away moment or energy here with this star energy because it's like she's sitting here looking out her window and you know just look on her face the expression kind of says it all it's kind of like hopeful wishing for something hoping for something dreaming for something the star is like a fantasy a temptation a desire you know it can represent like a, it can represent some kind of a union for some of you and it's in regards to some type of spiritual connection like your souls are tied together you feel it as a one, two of cups. It's in regards to love, something that's in the past, a past love or a past situation, something that um, I feel like you somehow didn't expect because it's, again, I get like this in awe of, like did not anticipate this. And so like kind of being, um, kind of being challenged at this point to make a decision about the King of Swords you get some you could represent a queen but I feel more so masculine energy two of cups you know there's love here it's mutual you understand it this way you you see that there's obviously a spiritual connection a tie that holds you and this person together 
you know, the Two of Cups represent like a marriage, coming together, commitment, friendship. And I think that you are very hopeful for this new beginning here with the King of Spears. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Fire sign like yourself. Um, this is someone you find very attractive, uh, very ambitious, very driven, um, very creative individual, somebody who doesn't give up, you know, you know, somebody that you admire, somebody whose energy you feel drawn to. The King of Wands, uh, much like the King of Queen of Wands, can kind of make you feel alive, kind of, you know, inspire you. And I kind of get that energy here with the star. Um, however, the thing is, is that something has to end first because though you kind of recognize this as a connection that you want to pursue, we have to make a decision, you're right, about the King of Swords who's still here. So that's your challenge at this time. You have to make a decision about the King of Swords. Will you be marked as a traitor? Will people have something negative to say? And I'm getting a lot of cross-watcher energy here. So some of you could be cross-watching for a Leo. And this could be from their perspective or yours. Okay. Um, Ten of Swords. It talks about an ending. And I think that somebody does want to end things with the King of Swords. But I feel like there potentially could be people who don't approve. Because again, you know, with the traitor sign there. So in your energy with this devil energy, this is also Capricorn, somebody could feel trapped or imprisoned into a situation or relationship. Uh, some of you can't stop thinking about this though. And I do feel like for a lot of you, there's a lot of uh, physical desire here uh, with this King of Wands, the Eight of Spears, the devil energy. It's a temptation, it's obsession, it's thinking about it constantly being in your mind because even in your environment, you know, we have the eight of spheres. There could be a lot of communication back and forth, a lot of flirting, you know, um, that kind of thing. This is travel, plans, messages potentially to and from, but it's about something that's ended, some kind of progression. Some of you could be worried about this King of Swords because, again, King of Swords could definitely be represent an energy, male or female, that is very, like, cold, manipulative, or um, maybe even spiteful. Uh, somebody who could, you know, be in, like, a legal field or have some kind of lawyer or something that they're working with. It also could be somebody who's very controlling. With this justice energy, I, hope, I think that you're hoping that... I'm thinking that it's, you're hoping to connect with a Libra, okay, for some of you, um, or you're hoping that things are going to go smoothly, that, that justice will be served here. Like hoping that th this, some kind of legal situation gets resolved. I think some of you may fear that if it's your person who is currently committed that they will choose to stay in that relationship to bring justice and balance. And I honestly have two very strong things here. Number one, if it is your person who is married, okay, if it's your person that's married to the king or queen of wands, I think that they're staying in the situation. Doesn't mean long term forever, but I do feel like that there's something here about um, uh, manipulation, maybe through like, you know, legal, uh, maybe even scaring them um, into staying, you know, because I have the devil energy that kind of comes through. They may kind of get intimidated, like I can't physically leave. Um, if it's you, um, I do feel like you're making a decision and being successful in some kind of end. They may be putting up like some kind of legal um, contract or restraining order or something. With this Five of Swords, we also have the Seven of Cups and the Priestess. Okay, Pisces Cancer energy. We also have strong, uh, strong, strong air, Capricorn, and fire. Also, Aquarius is probably the strongest. Um, I feel like Five of Swords 
there's something about walking away from a situation, but there's a bit of confusion around it because somebody is like needs to feel they feel they have to do this secretly or quietly rather. I'm gonna pull a couple cards to get clarification on any additional messages or guidance from spirit about this situation, what you need to know or see or understand at this time. New love. A new person has started your romantic feelings, but we also have healing family issues. Your love life being influenced by children. Some of you could be choosing to stay because there's children involved, but I honestly feel like you're pursuing new love. I feel like there's a, a new... A, regardless of whatever happens between this person and their spouse, cause whether it's you or them, the issue is their heart is with you. Your heart is with this person. The two of you want to be together. But there may be a karmic partner here we're saying, well, there's children involved. You'll lose custody of these kids. You'll never see them again. Um, you know, you you can't leave. Maybe a bit controlling. Because, again, I feel like I have two strong scenarios because I feel like half of you are cross watchers and I feel like half of you are viewing for your own sign. And I feel like because it's a bit split, I have two very strong messages. Number one, if it's your person who is the one who's married, I feel like they're staying, at least temporarily, because there's something about somebody trying to say, stay, you can't leave, and they're trying to kind of go back and think about things, trying to get clear in their decision on how they're going to move forward. They may feel threatened in some way or manipulated in some way. Things are still secret. They're still planning to leave, but they're, it's got to be secret. They have to wait. Because again, Five of Swords is about walking away, but they're actually sitting here. They're not actually taking action yet. It's like still just kind of planning, thinking, mulling it over. Um, if it's you, I feel like you are leaving. I feel like you're taking control, being successful here, cutting this person out, pursuing new love. But the past person may still want to try to work things out with you, but I feel like you're closing that door, maybe even getting a restraining order for some of you. Um, one card, please. Ask your angels. Some of you are asked, look, ask, look for a sign. Your angels actually have been with you. They have been giving you signs, showing you things, trying to give you messages and information about your situation and how to proceed ahead. So just be aware and be looking for that. Ask for things that are specific. You know, if you're, if you're looking for a sign, you don't have to say, angel, send me a sign. You can be specific. You can say, show me a red scarf. Show me a blue jay show me this i want to hear this song you know show me something something specific a butterfly with green wings you know whatever that needs to be for you um okay anything you need to know about the situation anything that leo collective needs to know about the situation justice okay so we have the ten of swords the page of pentacles <clears throat> the eight of uh, wands the six of wands and the justice card strong libra earth energy here i honestly feel that uh, someone's trying to protect a child um and i feel like there no um here in this situation what you need to know is that um regarding around the child that someone is not going to make any kind of impulsive fast decisions they're going to make sure that they're very secure in protecting their child first and foremost that they feel confident to legally detach from something that they know they're going to be successful they need to know for a fact before they walk out or close some kind of door that they have secured some kind of victory in regards to some kind of legal contract to move with their child okay so some of you if your person has a child or you have one um the the biggest thing here the biggest halt or thing to be aware of is that ultimately someone has to know before they're leaving that that's their plan um, that this child they're going to be able to have custody of and be able to travel away from this other person with okay so that is what I have for you thank you guys so much for watching as always I wish you strength and many blessings bye bye